Hi, my name is Mike Sleeper. I am a landscape photographer living on the South Shore, and I specialize mainly in panoramic photographs, um, which I use with vintage film cameras, and some square photographs as well. And this photograph here that we're looking at is from Nantucket, and a lot of my photographs are totally planned in advance. I'll scout a location, and then I'll go numerous times. I have to take into account a lot of factors, time of day, which is light, of course, the tide, if you can see the tide in the photograph. I like to have a little bit of wind in photographs if I'm photographing grass, because I like to see the grass blow a little bit, and I blur it so it looks like brush strokes. This particular photograph, however, was not planned out by any means. This was a total serendipitous event. I was on Nantucket with my wife for my anniversary, and we drove down to Madiket, and I had my gear with me, which I usually do, and saw this scene. And I thought it really captured everything which is great about Nantucket, especially the architecture. I generally don't have buildings in my photographs, but I thought it was really interesting in Nantucket, or appropriate for Nantucket, to have this nice gray weathered cottage, the way it sits in the dunes. It adds a nice weight to the end of the photograph. Then, of course, this classic boat. And the boat, I came to find out after I photographed this, belonged to Fred Rogers, Mr. Rogers from, from uh, public television. The next aspect of my photography is the presentation part, and that's where Frame Center comes in. With Dave and the rest of the crew, we discussed finding somewhat of a different frame that I normally use. And I thought, this looked nice. It's not quite a driftwood frame. It's just a gray wood frame. And it does have a little bit of yellow highlights in it or warm highlights, which picks up on the grass. And of course, the frame really works with the building. And on the other hand, it doesn't distract from the photograph. It sets the photograph off from the wall but it works with the photograph and I think puts together a perfect presentation that I wouldn't have recognized myself. I take the photographs, the Frame Center crew handles the presentation for me and between the two of us, we decide what's gonna look best and of course I always go with what they tell me to do. They're the framers, I just take the pictures.